So the last race of the day here at Cheltenham is race 21. And it's the Kim Muir Challenge Handicap Chase over three miles of a furlong. So Belgi here at June, along with Mabutz and Norma for James Shea, one and two. Von Pegasus for Paul Rhodes. Grand Dure for John Morgan. Pombao for Darren Thompson. Amazing Yourself for Ponty Paul Racing. No More Prisoners for Paul Rhodes. Bum Bell for Daniel French, the 11 to 4 favourite. Great White Hope for Joshua Sutherland. Heart Paces for Hems. Plainly Dangerous Martin Needham. Silver Bullet for Alex Cherry. Deacon Blues for Derek Hinton. Better Ass Battle for Ryan Costello. And Red Cape for Thomas Rogers makes up 15. Challenge for the Kim Muir. And we'll have a good uh, few new winners today. Finney picking up one. Alex winning the. Alex Cherry taking the first. We can wait for him to settle down the last today. Swing left handed into the home straight. Up and away. It is Silver Bullet that's going to lead this. Now 20 fences to take here in the Kim Muir. Wide. The widest of all here is uh, Bun Belt, the great. I think, or maybe not, I think that's one Pegasus of uh, Paul Rhodes. And then we'll skip over the first of 20. All remained on their feet, and it is Silver Bullet that still needs a swim red cape. They'll get here, Jude and Pombao together, and followed through by Heart Paces. It's the water. Swings over that, couple pecked on landing towards the rear. Silver Bullet, happy to bowl along in front. Alex Cherry, on through by Red Cape from Thomas Rogers. Lucky in the last uh, couple back. Into the Brown, uh, poor old Annie Walker fell at the first. We get to the fourth here. Oh, well, we've lost one now. Great White Hope's gone for Josh Sutherland. And lucky there, falling at the fourth. Disappointing. He probably would have thought he had a chance here. Reasonably on the weights, but it's still Silver Bullet that leads us into the fifth. Big ditch. Everybody's over it. Slow jumps at the rear by Bumbell and plainly dangerous. Silver Bullet from Belgia here. Jude and Grand Dure now has moved up. And it puts a normal on the inside. Oh, poor jump by the leader there. Packed on landing. Lucky to stir the jockey in the plate. But all his advantage is gone now. Silver uh, Bullet gives way to Belgia here. Jude, but pushes on out again. Wants to lead. So here's Silver Bullet. Oh, we're getting to the seventh again. The leader, Silver Bullet, went straight through the top of it. And his last couple of fences uh, may well have taken his race away from him as he drops back again. And the two James Shea horses of Mebutz and Norma and Belga here are Jude. Take it up. Still two miles to go. To go over the eighth this time. That was a poor jump by Belga here are Jude. Mebutz and Norma. She's jumped well. One that's moved well on the outside now is Grand Dure for John Morgan. It's Mabuts and Norma that still leads us. We go past the grandstand for another circuit. Not pretty close order here. All by plainly dangerous at the rear, running alongside the Great White Hope. The riderless horse. Wide across the track here. As we come down to the next, a little bit of shuffling around as we go over the ninth, they're all over it. It's Red Cape that now leads us from Grand Dure. Amazing ourselves moved up on the outside. Puts a normal still against the fence along with Silver Bullet. We go over the tent, so half the fence is done. We go uphill and away from the grandstand again. The full circuit to go, and it's Red Cape. High length to Grand Dure, Silver Bullet, better as Battle and the Boots and Norma against the fence. Followed by the rest of the pack, all together. Couple are still going wide on Pegasus. Got button belt going the long way round here. Still towards the rear is uh, no more prisoners now. It's dropped to the back, so they get to the 11th. We'll jump that bet up, and it's Silver Bullet that's taking it up again now. Confident he's jumping from Red Cape. Better ask back when their boots are normal. Grandeur as they get to the 12th of water. And we'll skip over that one. Red Cape leads them uphill now. The Silver Bullet and the Boots of Norma. Bit trash battle still there. Grand Dure. Little slower jumps. Red Cape jumped it well. Red Cape as we come down to a mile from home. To the highest point of the course. We'll get over that. Still some slow jumps at the rear by plainly dangerous and pomb out. Not other races as they say. 
So it's Silver Bullet and Red Cape, these are your 1 2 from the Boots and Normal. Von Pegasus the Grey. On the inside is Belga Hira Jude. We get to the big ditch, the 15th. And we'll get over that. Might drop right towards the rear now, it's amazing yourself. So we get to the 16th, the leaders are over it, as is everybody else, and they'll come downhill now. Further six furlongs to travel. So it's Silver Bullet and Red Cape. These two are your one two. And the bits are normal. On the wide outside now is Heart Paces. Deacon Blues has come from nowhere. And the Pink Silks, the Del Hinton, and the Grey in there. Von Pegasus. They go over the 17th. A little bit of Ben Pegasus pour over that. Shuffles right back down the pack. And it's Silver Bullet from Red Cape and the Boots are normal. And Belga here Jude. Deacon Blues on the outside. Heart Paces in between there. And starting to drop back over just a little bit now is Belga here Jude. But it, as they get to the 18th, so it's three from home, they're all over it, and it's Red Cape that still just leads. But here comes Grandeur of John Morgan, not asked for anything yet on the inside. Red Cape goes again for Thomas Rogers. So with half a mile left to travel, it is Red Cape and Grandeur pushing through Silver Bullet. Heart Paces is still there, Mebutsa Norma, as we swing slightly left-handed inside the three. It's Grandeur just by a neck to Red Cape, Heart Paces, Mebutsa Norma. Pombell's running on well from the back, but it's Grandeur that's going to lead them into the penultimate. Gets over it well and gets away from it fast. So it's Grandeur from Heart Paces. Mabutsa and Norma. Red Cape running on now. Well, it's Belga Hero Jude again. But it's Grandeur inside the final and a half. He went through the top of it and has allowed Heart Paces to get one by. And it's Heart Paces that takes it up inside the final furlan for Frey Gallon. Heart Paces from Grandeur on the outside. Pombell. Belga Hero Jude on the inside. Heart Paces just by half a length inside the final half. And it's Heart Paces. Belga Hero Jude on the inside. Grandeur between horses. Heart Paces. Belga Hero Jude. Heart Paces. Heart Paces from Belga Hero Jude. Grandeur, Pombel, they're all there. I think Heart Pace has just hung on for that for Hems. Taking the last race of the day. Kim Muir just gets up there from Belga Hero Jude in second. Grandeur was third. I think Heart Paces was Craig. I don't think it was a James Shea horse. I'll wait for the card to come up. And it is Heart Paces for Hems that takes it. Well done. Comes in here on a nice lightweight, wins it well. From the top weight, Belga Hero Jude for James Shan, second. Third was Grandeur for John Morgan. Fourth was Red Cape for Thomas Rogers. Fifth was Pom Bow for Darren Thompson. Well, that's day two over. I've now got to go over and do over to Friars Hall and call home uh, a couple of hunter chases to finish the day off. Good luck tomorrow.